CM Punk's UFC debut is in the bag and it didn't go the way that he wanted it to, nor a lot of his fans, maybe it did for you, but let's just see how Twitter themselves and everyone on it reacted to CM Punk's loss in his debut against Mickey Gall. First up, Michael Bisping, considering that Dana White and CM Punk have stayed relatively quiet on the topic, Michael Bisping is our first one up who says, Tough break CM Punk, head hoido, you had the balls to do it and to do it again. Respect, live to fight another day. Great stuff from one of the most respected men in UFC, good to see that Punk is keeping that respect among his peers and that they only want to see him get better. Next up we have the star of UFC, fellow dub Conor McGregor, who says in the video that he has respect for Punk, he says he's not just another WWE pussy, but Conor, listen, as an Irishman, as a fellow dub, I gotta fucking tell you, wind your fucking neck in son, stop talking shit that you haven't got a fucking clue about, other than that, McGregor says he has a bit of respect for Punk and that he's not just another quote unquote WWE pussy, fuck that McGregor cunt sometimes. <laughs> Moving on to Ariel Helwani, of course the friend, well known friend of CM Punk, simply says Punk is getting emotional, I'm just really hard on myself, it sucks, replied to by an NHL journalist saying he won just by getting in there and I agree and a lot of people seem to agree too that Punk won just by getting into the cage. So we're going to start branching out now a little bit and as you can see up the top there, the Spartan Elias Theodore. Punk too excited ran right into that takedown straight from the start, I was worried that he might be running at him and get taken down quickly and he did as you can see as well the solid monster jason solomon and wwe creative humor all getting in on the action as well solomon saying i presume he wants to say drago and creed not dragon and creed that he's getting a drago and creed vibe from this i'm not too much up of my rocky but i think that's what he meant hope cabana has to tell already in the corner i don't think cabana and punk are on very good speaking terms recently and so the stories go as you can see it on the bottom left creative humor says maybe WWE or maybe cm punk should have just stuck with that feud with kane doesn't seem like such a bad idea now does it <laughs> And now here's a few wrestling personalities giving their take, Nia Jax just saying mad props for CM Punk, Corey Graves of course a very humble man himself, nothing but respect, Taz saying they are dancing in the streets of Stamford which is probably so wrong considering Stamford is like higher up, upper class America, probably they haven't got a clue what UFC is, they could be dancing in the halls of WWE headquarters which is in Stamford, maybe that's what he meant. And there's a few more, Mero Ronaldo, things that make you go, hmm. So maybe Mero wasn't too impressed with CM Punk's debut or maybe his decision to do it. Hmm, very interesting from Mero there. And again, here's just more wrestling journalists and fans and whatnot. Up the top left though, again, the Spartan. Well, at least Triple H can't book himself to go over CM Punk in this event. I got a nice, that got a nice laugh out of me. And of course, it was really, really cool to hear cult of personality again and punk coming out to it creative humor saying of course correctly all that was missing was paul Heyman giving him the watch to look at and shout it's clobbering time i would have loved to have seen that one moving back over now to a couple of other wrestlers mvp first saying who was in attendance last night saying no matter what cm punk is a draw all the wrestling fans have left this place is empty so that just goes to show you they did make noise for him there was a few boos but there was a few fair few chance for CM Punk as well good to see that there is a crossover audience in place Samoa Joe as well who is not verified for some crazy reason saying stand up dust off on to the next one love you good brother if you don't know it's well documented Samoa Joe and CM Punk go way back to Ring of Honor and probably from before that more people here just showing their respect and Christian O'Connell, stand-up comedian, amazing all the keyboard warriors laughing at CM Punk, whatever you think, I admire the guy's courage and heart and I think that seems to be the prevailing feeling all around Twitter and all that. In saying that, you do have this woman, I don't know if you want to call her that, our decision is this guy should never fight again, officials. Basically saying that the officials of UFC said that this guy should never fight again. Let's just have a little look at this woman's profile here. Comic, actress, host 2016 AVN Awards? Uh, okay, you go back to your fucking porn awards and all your little shitty comics and actress and all that kind of shit. And leave the fighting to the big boys, yeah? Fuck me. Uh, look at that too as well. <laughs> 
Here we go though, this is on the left, Dana White's last post on Twitter, CM Punk vs Mickey Gall up next, he did not promote the main event or anything like that, he did not comment after the main event to do with that, that is the last post on Dana White's Twitter. And I'm going to have the last laugh for WWE Creative Humor, who, remember, do not feel too sorry for Punk, because as you can see, poor CM Punk has to go home tonight and sleep off this loss in a pile of money next to his beautiful wife, so do not feel feel too bad whatever you do for CM Punk today. <laughs> Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed this little trim off the top of Twitter following CM Punk's loss at UFC. I will see you for Backlash and more Twitter reacts for Backlash on Monday. Till then folks, see you later.